This is Math 98, practice test 1, question number 10. We are supposed to write an equation for a situation. And the, the test, I didn't write out the whole thing. The test says a line that goes through these two points. So, but I, I could graph them. You know, I could like graph them out, figure out the slope, plug it into uh, point slope form. And I, I, I'm going to like be a little lazy. I'm not going to graph it. I'm going to use what I know about slope. So remember, slope is rise overrun. So um, the rise is how far it's going up. That's that's my change in y. How much y is changing? My run is going left right. That's my change in x. Remember that delta means change in. So my change in y. If I start at negative 2 and I go down to negative 8. I start at negative 2. I go down to negative 8. Notice what's happened is I've, I've gone down 6. Um, if you don't see that, you could go negative 8 minus negative 2, if you prefer that. Um, I just like to think about it. 3 to negative 6. If I start up at 3 and I go down to negative 6, I've gone down 9. You know, And if you don't want to think about it, you just go negative 6 minus 3. So notice now I have rise over run. Um, a negative divided by a negative is a positive, so this is going to be positive. Uh, 6 ninths. Both those are divisible by 3, so that reduces to 2 thirds. So there's my slope. And I'm just going to use point slope form. It didn't specify what to use. So I'm just going to pick this point, and I'm going to go y plus 2. Remember when you're in this form, this gets plugged into the y value, and you're trying to make a 0. So I, I'm going to write plus 2, because when I plug in negative 2, I want it to be a 0. Uh, equals 2 thirds times x, not plus 3, minus 3. I could leave it like that. I, if I'd picked this point, I would have written uh, y plus 8 equals 2 thirds x plus 6. If I wanted in, in a slope-intercept form, I could pick either one of these two and solve for y. So like here, distribute the 2 thirds. Uh, think about that fraction. 2 thirds times negative 3. Negative 3 divided by 3 is 1, which would be negative 2. Add 2 to both sides. Oh no, why did I add 2? Sorry. Subtract 2 from both sides. Minus 4. So that's good. That's good. That's good. I would take any of those three answers.